Let's take a look at uh, some more code.org lessons. We're going to take a look at lesson eight now, and we're going to head into nested loops in maze. So we're still in loops. Lesson eight. Starting out number one, this is going to be great. Help the bee collect all of the nectar. Okay, so those are the only directions that we have, um, and we've done stuff like this before. So the bee has to go forward, forward, and if there's nectar, get nectar, and forward, if, if there's, I'm sorry, if there's a flower, get nectar. Um, so we just have to go forward and get nectar twice. So I'm going to use a loop here, since there's a loop available to me. We have to write that one time. We're going to go forward, and then we're going to go forward, get nectar, go forward, get nectar. Let's check it out. Do you agree with me? Try it on yours if you want first. Okie dokie, congratulations, you completed puzzle one. Now on to section number two, lesson eight, part two. Again, this is going to be great. Help the bee collect the nectar. Okay, so we've got a square, which means we might be able to use a loop. So we've got the same exact code as last time. Forward, forward, get nectar, forward, get nectar, and turn right. And then basically we have to do the same thing. So I always have to imagine I'm the bee facing this way. I would have to turn right to go down. So let's see, we're gonna do this for all four sides of the square. So we're going to go forward. And well, I used, I'll do this again. The last one I did forward, get nectar. I did that twice. So I can take this whole loop and put it right there inside of my loop. That's what's called nested loops. And then I have to turn right. So let me just pull this off. So on the top row, I'm gonna go forward, and then I'm gonna go forward, get nectar, and I'm gonna do that two times, forward, get nectar, and then I'm gonna turn right. And because there are four sides of this square, I can put this whole entire command inside of my repeat loop. Now, if I knew this was the only time I was going to have to do this in my code, this is exactly how I probably would code it. Bonus question, what would you do if you knew you were going to use it multiple times in your code? Pause it. Answer that question. What I would do is I would call this a function. Maybe I would call this one side of the square, and then I would just call one side of the square. But in this section here with nested loops, I don't have that option. So there's multiple ways to complete code the same ways. I'm sorry, there's multiple ways to complete the same thing in your code. Uh, <clears throat> the way that this program is set up in our tutorial, it just asks you to get all of the nectar, and I was getting back to where I started, but once all the nectar was collected, the program just stopped running. So um, if the code actually continued going as I had coded it, the B would have stopped up here at the top. All right, so here we are, lesson three, and there's a video. So go ahead and pause it and watch the video. Okay, let's keep going. Lesson eight, number four. Ooh, it's time for a quiz. Look closely at the nested loops below. What will happen when you click run? So take a look, read through the code. <clears throat> Your options are the bee will move forward and get nectar only one time. The bee will um, the bee will only get two units of nectar. C, the bee will get all of the nectar. And D, I don't know. So go ahead and answer the quiz, and then I'll show you the answer. How'd you do? Did you pick C? We already did it this way. I probably am getting ahead of how code.org has got the lesson planned out, but these are the things I tell you in class anyway. 
All right, so if you click on run, you'll see the bee goes forward and gets nectar, goes forward, gets nectar, turn, go forward, get nectar, go forward, go forward, get nectar. They go three times through and they have all of it. So the bee got all of the nectar, so which was C. Okay, we're in lesson eight, part number five. This time, help the bee collect all of the nectar using a, as few blocks as possible. Give it a pause, and you give it a try, and then let's see what you came up with. Okay, hopefully you paused it. Now, what I did while I had mine paused, thinking you were working too, I just started thinking about one side of the square. So on one side of the square, I have to go forward, get nectar, and then I have to do that again, forward, get nectar, forward, get nectar. I need to do that three times to get to the corner. So I made a repeat loop for three times, move forward, get nectar. That's going to be one side of the square. So if you're already farther ahead, then you can just keep playing. If not, pause it again and see what else, other steps you need to do. Okay, one more thing that I thought you could have done was you could see that he's sitting on top of a flower so you could get nectar and then move forward. Um, I'm going to move forward and get nectar because that's how my I thought about it and I want to do it. But you could do get nectar, move forward, and then at the end, um, you'd have to turn right. So I'm going to move forward, get nectar, turn right, which means I'm going to skip this one on the way I'm doing it. And I'm going to have to do that three times. If you get nectar first, then you have to do it four times to get to the corner. Um, if you do it four times on this last one, he's going to move forward to get nectar and there's not going to be a flower there because you would have already gotten it. So I'm not going to do it this way, but you can try it out if you'd like. Um, because there's four sides of the square, I'm going to use repeat block four times, and I'm going to throw all of this. This is one side. Again, I could call this a function if I wanted to and say get nectar on one side, um, but we don't have that option in this lesson. So there we go, and I'm going to run it, and hopefully it works. Did yours work? See how I, I didn't get nectar the first time? One, two, three. <clears throat> All right, lesson eight. I'm going to go on to number six, the zombies. Um, I'm actually going to pause and I'll make a new video.